Hey guys, it's David Zama May, class of 2024, North Cobb High School, athlete, running back, six foot, 200 pounds to be exact. Yes, sir. Awesome. All right, well, let's begin. First off, coming from North Cobb, great year last year. When you look back on your season, what are some things that stand out to you or things that make you stand out? I feel like the way I played, because like each game, I was determined to finish. Like I wanted everybody to know my name at the end of each game, so that's what really helped me finish. I feel like that really, that's what really separates me from the rest. And then I really want to give it all to my teammates and they really helped me grow as a young man. That's what really helped me uh, develop this mindset of like wanting this. Yes, sir. For sure. Okay, for you, what are some things that you're focused on here in the off season? Some of your things that you're fine tuning here? Uh, you know, you see seven on seven. You know, I'm just really trying to get better with the ball skills. I'm really trying to become a more developed athlete. I want to become a playmaker more, you know, have that labeled as an athlete. That's what I'm really looking at this year. Okay. In terms of recruitment, interest, offers, what does that look like for you? Uh, it's really been going good. You know, offers, I received some offers from South Carolina, Louisville, Ole Miss, Georgia, hmm, NC State. I was blessed with Pittsburgh, Coastal Carolina, you know, Vanderbilt. I like it over there. And I really, yeah, that's really it for right now. I really want to thank God. Got you. Okay, and in terms of your recruitment, what are some things that you're looking for in a school? What's that decision going to look like for you? I really want, I'm looking at like, I want to look at the, the player development part. I really want to look at like, who's been the alumni. I want to look at like all, like all of those, like how good the school is, you know, characteristics. With, cause I'm really looking at education because I want to, when I grow up, I want to be a mechanical engineer, but I also want to play ball. So I really want those schools to have those like set out for me. When you break down your game and where you stand right now, what would you say are some things that make you stand out and have helped these schools to notice you? I, I have to say my speed. Like, my speed is, like, it's character-breaking. My speed is different. That's what I feel like. And I feel like just the way I approach the game, I just approach it differently. Okay. In terms of off the field, how would you describe who you are outside of football, what you like to do? I feel like I'm still a young kid. I'm maturing, but I'm getting better. You know, in the community, downtown, in downtown Ackworth, I work at a restaurant, 1885 Grill. Hopefully you should try it out one day. It's really nice over there. You know, I just, I really like to help out in the community because they really gave a lot to me. So why not give back? So. Favorite dish at the restaurant? Got to be the wings. It's like an appetizer. Those, my, they go so hard. <laughs> Got to be the wings or the black and chicken pasta. Most likely, but my manager, he probably going to see this. He's going to say the black and chicken pasta because that's every time I always get that. Okay. Yes, sir. Got you. And you say you like to help the community. What are some things going forward, some goals that you have that you'd like to do to support the community and help out? I'm really like, I'm trying to like give back to the community. Like getting older, like I really want to help out the city of Ackworth and Kennesaw because I really want to say a special thank you for allowing me to like to do these things, just allowing me to become a better athlete, a better person in general. Just helping me grow as a young man when I really had nobody. So that's what's really it. We look at North Cobb last year and then coming back this year as well. The talent level's insane in that program and in that area. How would you describe your experience and just what it's like for you being a part of that and being such a big contributor? I really want to give like shout outs to my coaches, all my players, you know, receivers like Denala Morissette, Reggie Gavon, Sam and Bakke, you know, players like Joshua Josephs, all of them, they really helped me. They opened my eyes. Like they really they allow me to see like what it's really like. I'd probably say the nylon though and Sam, they really made me like, they really made me that person because they really opened my eyes. Like I'm saying every block, the nylon, he would just drag a kid like 15 yards. For what reason? It's just that he loves the sport and I really love that dude. He's like a big brother to me. Same thing for Sam, the way he finishes on routes and all that. Reggie too, the boy's a little small, but he can get out of there. My old line, bro, I love them so much. The, that class of 2023 old line, you're going to hear about them a lot this year. R.J. Grigsby, you know, Marcel Felton, you know, Blake Ellsworth at center. He's just blowing up now, but they will see him. I promise that. And our quarterback, Malachi Singleton. Now, that's something. And our running back, Benjamin Hall, that's something to watch. For sure. Yes, sir. All right, looking forward to watching you in the coming season. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Hey, y'all have a great day. Thank you.